Autumn brings shorter hours of daylight, cooler temperatures, and falling leaves. These changes are a signal to animals. Animals have different strategies and adaptations to prepare for the coming winter. Some animals will migrate, some sleep or hibernate, while others stay active. Birds are perhaps the most well-known migrants. Ducks, geese, and other waterfowl make their way south to warmer areas with more abundant food. You may see some migrants like these mallard ducks stopping in for a rest on their migration south. They dabble in the water, filtering out small insects and plants to eat with their strainer-like beaks. Here is a pair of trumpeter swans during their migration. Their long necks allow them to reach for food plants deep in the water. They also free up vegetation by paddling their feet in the muddy bottom. This pair is preening their feathers to aid them in their long flight. White-tailed deer stay active during the winter. They grow thicker and longer fur coats with hollow hairs to better insulate themselves. They also produce oils to waterproof their fur. During autumn, they fatten up on the last remaining green leaves before their diet switches to available browse of twigs and leaf buds. Birds that remain active in western New York may feed on seeds or hiding insects. A red-breasted nuthatch looks for a crevice in the bark to hide a seed for later. Here a white-breasted nuthatch looks for insects hiding under tree bark. Blue jays are well known for hiding acorns, beech nuts, and other nuts in the ground to supply them through winter when food is more scarce. They will even shake the nuts to make sure that there is a nut inside the shell. Sometimes they will test each one to select the largest and best nut. This comes at a risk that their competition will take from their supply. While feeding, blue jays will hold a nut in its feet and break it open using its beak. They are able to fit smaller nuts in their throat pouch, while larger ones they hold in their beak.
Gray squirrels also stay active during the winter. They live in a nest of leaves and twigs called a dray. This leaf nest is larger than a basketball and often high in a tree. During fall, squirrels will add extra leaves to block the cold winter winds. While seeds and nuts are plentiful, they will collect and bury them in the ground scattered nearby their leaf nest. Sometimes they will even collect two at a time. Gray squirrels will dig a hole and pat soil and leaves on top of their nut. Beavers are actively adding sticks and mud to their lodge during the fall. Similar to squirrels, they also hide food for the winter. They submerge branches of their favorite trees in the bottom of the pond. During winter, they will enter the water from their lodge and return with branches to feed on their bark. Chipmunks are deep sleepers, but not true hibernators. During winter, they will occasionally wake to feed on their stockpile of food in their burrow. During winter thaws, you may even see them skittering around in search of more seeds. They take many trips to their burrow with cheek pouches full of nuts, seeds, and fruits. This is one of nature's cuter adaptations. I watched this chipmunk stuff as many as 40 corn kernels in its cheek pouches. Sometimes you'll even see them climbing trees. This chipmunk is collecting fruits from a hawthorn tree.
The woodchuck is the largest member of the squirrel family in our area. This ground squirrel is one of our true hibernators. They fatten up on grasses, clover, dandelions, and many other plants during the summer and fall. They rely on their fat reserves while they sleep in their underground burrow from October till March or April. During hibernation, their heartbeat slows to about 5 beats per minute and their body temperature can drop below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Autumn is a time for change, and it's always fun to watch animals prepare for the colder months ahead. Thanks for watching.